Welcome to day number 36 of our 40 days of power. We have four more days to go. And just remember that on the day we end, that is the 1st of August, uh, we break our fast finally in the evening. I'll conduct a communion service at the Greater Works Conference, the opening night next week, Monday. That will be the formal end of the fast and then the beginning of the Greater Works Conference, which will end on the Friday with an anointing service. So I just want to encourage you, be part of what God is doing. We have prayed, and it's going to be an awesome time in the presence of God as the Lord leads, guides, and directs our steps. So on this 36th day, we are looking at God's increase in wisdom and knowledge. Second Chronicles chapter 1, verse 11 and 12. Then God said to Solomon, because this was in your heart and you have not asked riches or wealth or honor or the life of your enemies, nor have you asked long life, but you've asked wisdom and knowledge for yourself that you may judge my people over whom I have made you king. Wisdom and knowledge is granted to you and I'll give you riches and wealth and honor such as none of the kings have had who were before you, nor shall any after you have the like. The Lord asked Solomon, pray for whatever he wanted. Uh, it's an open check. And Solomon made a wise request. He said, Lord, give me wisdom and understanding so I will take care of your people. You've given me a great job. Give me wisdom and understanding. God says, that's a smart prayer request. Uh, because you ask for wisdom and knowledge, I will add to you what you didn't ask for. I'll give you wealth. I'll give you honor. I'll give you all the things we pray for. Isn't that an amazing thing that sometimes when we pray, we pray for the wrong thing. We pray, oh God, give me, Lord, destroy my enemies. Lord, give me this and Lord, give me that. And Solomon didn't pray for that. Did he have enemies? Yes, he did. But that was not his prayer topic. He prayed for wisdom and God says, if you seek the right thing first, other things are added. It's always important for us to pray for the right thing for God to add to us instead of us trying to grab everything. So Solomon prayed for wisdom. And this season, may the Lord give each one of us abundant wisdom and understanding. Wisdom is what guides us. Wisdom is like a navigating instrument. It shows us where to go, where to step, where not to step. And there are many things coming your way that you need wisdom to know how to navigate your life. And may the Lord grant you wisdom. Wisdom is the solution to every problem because every problem in this world has a solution. And the solution is in its wisdom. So if you don't have the wisdom, then the problem is going to look so impossible before you. But when you have the wisdom, you can solve it. It's like uh, somebody who is given a very difficult math problem. If they don't know how to solve it, they will just scream and cry in front of the problem and think that there is no solution. But if they have the know-how, then they can solve it. It's the same way. You may have a marriage problem and think, oh, this is the most impossible marriage I'm in. It's a wisdom problem. A financial problem, oh, this is the most impossible financial problem. It's a wisdom problem because for everything we have to do, there is a way of wisdom to do it. Every problem is a wisdom problem. And the solution is what Solomon prayed for. Lord, give me wisdom and understanding. And I hope that that will be your heart desire as we conclude our fast uh, on Monday, that God give me wisdom, increase me in understanding so I can find solution to every problem. And I pray that will be your portion too. May the Lord grant you wisdom beyond everything you've experienced in your life. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, give me wisdom and understanding to live every aspect of my life successfully in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. May the Lord bless you with abundant wisdom on every side and may you find a solution to every problem following you in the name of Jesus. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.